Hi people, this is Christian Herrera. Welcome to a beautiful day here in Stockholm, Japan. Today I'm going to, as you can see, I have disassembled the, the battery. So I'm going to rebuild my, my hybrid battery on my car. It broke down the same day as I came home and got sick from when I came home from Riga and I got sick, but uh, yeah, I just going to rebuild it and then it's going to work fine. I mean, it's an old Prius from 2001 and it's working perfectly. I've been, I've, I bought it extremely cheaply and I've been fixing it, everything, and then it was working perfect and the hybrid battery went down. It was two cells, so I'm going to change those cells and it's going to work fine. <coughs> well, but that's that. That's today's simple job. And then I'm going to work with my customers and that and all of that the things I have. I have found businesses that I can work within, helping with the digitalization of uh, of uh, of traditionally uh, businesses that you meet people. Well, during these Corona times, I wanted to talk about. Uh, what the Swedes are doing and what's happening. I, I, I told I told myself I wouldn't cover this too much, but I've seen so many questions out in um, different forums, and I've seen like in um, Quora, people have been asking how come that Sweden hasn't uh, the same outbreak as Italy and uh, and uh, France and Spain, and um, the Swedish people are so bad at having self critique so they are just saying yeah but Swedes are self uh, are self distance by nature and a lot of bull crap and I have another another answer to that I mean well it's true that Swedes usually have distanced themselves from each other but uh, it's not the whole truth there are a lot of reports coming from mathematicians and medics that predict that we should have around uh, up to a half a million to one million infected here in Sweden. Uh, I've done my own calculations where I used the the official the official figures from the the ICU units, and just here in Stockholm I came to about. Yesterday it was 50,000, so today should be like around 80,000 infected in Stockholm. I haven't, uh, <coughs> I haven't uh, run the numbers today, but uh, I think my calculations are reporting too little. I mean, I, I think there's something wrong either in the figures from the IVU or in the figures from my calculations because. Uh, but I don't think it's the. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think it's the calculation. I think it's the figures from that I get from the IVU because I checked and double checked and triple checked my calculations and they are correct. So, but when I when I put the figures from the from the from the, the official figures, I actually get that we have a mortality rate of over five percent of the people that uh, that. Um, that get infected that dies and that's not really true because the, the other number says that it's only five percent that gets to the IVU so that means that more people that means that everyone would that would come to come to the IVU would die and uh, some more and um, when we check when we check the figures from countries that do done extensive testing we see that uh, <coughs> we see that uh, we see that it's only it should normalize around 1.6 or 1 percent. And when I started to do the calculations, I had a mortality rate around 1 percent. And then it got out of hand this this latest days. So now I, I, I think that this, it's something wrong with the figures I, I'm I'm getting. It's something that uh, it's not correct because we should have a lot more infected than my than my calculations are showing. Uh, we talk, because it makes it doesn't make sense with the death rates. <coughs> well, but um, when we're speaking about this, um, 
people have been asking why Sweden doesn't have um, so many infected as uh, other countries in Europe. Uh, the answer is very simple. We have two main reasons why the figures is not showing the same. One is that we had we stopped doing testing as soon as we said that okay we have community spread. They stopped testing. Nobody here in Stockholm. Nobody gets tested. You have to be in a risk group <coughs> or hospitalized. And even the nurses and the medics and the people, the, the 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 health professionals doesn't get tested. So that's one reason why we don't have uh, we don't have uh, the same figures. The second uh, the second um, reason is that we got the outbreak a lot later. So we we are we are earlier in the curve. We are earlier. And when you're talking about exponential growth, it's like when you're on the latest one percent that you see bam the, the spike that goes up. So now the. Um, our state epidemiologists and um, our, our official instances have been saying, yeah, but we managed to flatten the curve. We don't have such a spike in the curve. They're lying. They're lying because uh, the curve is going to spike. We just haven't come to that um, to that um, to that part of the curve yet. I really hope I'm wrong, but uh, I don't think so. I think that we have uh, a lot more infected. I mean, we can have up to three or four percent of the population infected already. My calculations show that we have around 1.2, 1.5 percentage of the of the population infected already. <coughs> but um, I think it's a lot higher than that. Second thing, um, I've, I've been asked. Uh, to um, show my calculations, show how I how I do it. I haven't come to that because uh, one, I'm I suck at Excel at uh, at spreadsheets. Yeah, <coughs> I've, I've done it by spreadsheet right now, just because it's easy for me to test and try different figures, try different numbers with the model I, I created, so I can see how much small differences actually affect and I, I, I've been considering actually showing a vid, doing a video on that uh, wow look and stone age um, I've been um, actually considering doing a video about that uh, just to show how much a little social distancing can, uh, distancing can do for our our death rates two weeks from now um, the concept of exponential growth is actually very hard for the human mind to grasp, to understand. But when you see the figures, uh, like if I just change the, the doubling rate by one day or something, then you, you get ridiculous results. It, it does extremely much for, for the figures. So, <coughs> but um, as I said, my... my my model is based on the official assumption, official numbers, and there's a lot of assumptions there. And uh, I think I need to um, to reconsider the assumptions I've made to to get the the figures better because uh, we can't trust all the figures that comes from the official instances, especially in here in Sweden. So that's that. What more? Yeah, we're talking about why Sweden has so low figures. It was the we are earlier in the curve. We are not reporting anything. We're not testing. Um, right now, we are getting closer to the Easter week. To Easter, um, this weekend was a beautiful weekend. We had like 15 degrees down in the south of Sweden. And my mother reported to me that. Uh, my mother was out walking her dog and she told me that the, the park was full of people. The cafes, the cafeterias were full of people just enjoying the springtime and the, the parks were full of elderly people mixed with young people having picnics and the playgrounds full of people. I mean, it was no social distancing occurring over there. And even here in the woods where I live, I mean... Uh, 
um, even here we had a shitload of people out taking walk. People that come from the city here to, to just to walk around and enjoy the enjoy the bushes. So uh, we are not practicing. Uh, I mean, most people are practicing uh, um, self distancing, social distancing. But um, I can say like a third of the people are not. They're not taking this seriously yet. And that's why I'm considering doing that video on uh, on the mathematics behind that, just to just to prove the point, okay? Just to prove the point what a little self thing can do. <coughs> Stockholm, the hospitals here are getting overwhelmed. Um, this week we should, uh, uh, yes, I, I told you, this week we should hit the point where we can't uh, where the um, where the, um, we can't cope with that anymore. It should come this week. And uh, I don't, I don't understand why our officials are just hitting us up in the chest. There. We're doing a great, great job when we have a community spread here and uh, people are out spreading disease as normal as usual. If we should have, um, if we should have uh, done something about this early on before we had this great spread that we have now. Um, if we close down everything there for two or three weeks, we would be fine. The, but then we had to be worried about the second way we have to be to have a rigorous uh, border controls and that's not what the Swedish official wants. So that's why they're putting us through this experiment. Uh, if you read in the Swedish newspapers, the Swedes are saying, yeah, the whole world is going to look at us and think that we did the best in this situation. They're going to turn to the Swedish model when they're going to uh, let loose of the <coughs> of the quarantines. And I, I don't know. It looks like the Swedish government uh, suffers from hybris. That's, that's the only explanation for that. Well, I've been ranting long enough. Um, I am considering merging my tech channel with this channel because I want I want to put more focus on the tech one and it's it's a pain in the ass to manage more channels especially since I am um, um, self-employed and also manage a lot of customers so I, I would like to know what you my my subscribers think about that if you would accept that I put on my tech content on this channel or if you prefer that I have it separated tell me what you think about that tell me what you think about uh, Sweden and are we are our officials suffering from hybrids or not let me know what you think your take on that and uh, have a beautiful day and keep safe bye